Greetings, Wellmut, and what's up? Suck Attic back with another video. This time we're going from Dungeon Alchemist into Foundry Virtual Tabletop, so let's get to it. So here we are in Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Um, just made the switch from Roll20 over to this. Uh, switching the whole group over, kind of mid-game, but it's worth it. There's a lot of benefits for it. Uh, animated weather, not raining in the tavern. Um, the dark vision is great. Chat bubbles on NPCs. Lighting handled well with... I don't know. It's amazing. It's amazing. Anyways, um, without further ado, let's get into uh, what this video is about, shall we? So we got Dungeon Alchemist here. I'm um, just going to create a new map so I can show you guys the entire process from top to bottom. going to look an awful lot like that one. But yeah, we'll generate a little map here. And let's uh, throw a little... Little building here get some lights in it so we can show you guys how the the walls and the lights import as well it's seamless and very easy all right so we got our map here we're gonna go ahead and export this perspective 3d walls um, I choose not to have the grid on because I just let the uh, virtual tabletop handle it um, I got my own folder you can save these wherever you'd like foundry and DA is what I call mine um, Lakeside Retreat. Save that here. All right, cool. You'll see we got our JSON and our JPG. We'll need both of those. And now let's head back into Foundry Virtual Tabletop. So go over to your scene tab. We're going to create a new scene. We'll call it Lakeside Retreat. All right, you can leave all that alone. Just hit save changes there. Right click on your new scene here and import data. We'll click uh, choose file there. We have our foundry plus dungeon alchemist folder wherever you saved your map. Go ahead and grab your JSON folder and import that in. So that's all good. We are now going to click on our new scene, uh, right click and configure this scene. Um, the background image, that's where you're going to put the JPG. So choose file again, go back here, grab your image file, the JPG, the JPEG, whatever, save that. There you go. And once that's imported in, it should uh, auto adjust the walls and the lighting to where it was. Uh, you should be all set. So let's see if that worked. Um, we'll quickly transition over to night here and let's drag one of the characters. He's got night vision or dark vision. He's an elf, so we'll send him. Yep, look, we got the walls where they should be. It handled the lighting. Let's open our door and head inside. Maybe, maybe. Can I get in? There we go. Seamless. Very easy. Love this program. Uh, love both of the programs, actually. And if anybody would like any more details on why I made the switch or I can show off any of my modules or anything I've done here, I'm still very new to the program, but I'd love to help. Uh, anything to make our job as DMs easier, right? Uh, it can be an arduous task, to say the least. So, yeah. Uh, if anybody found this useful or would like uh, to support the channel, just give the like button a boof. Uh, drop a comment down there. Subscribe if you'd like to see any future content. And, uh, yeah, stay frosty out there, everybody. Peace.